<laughs> this is a journey into sound. A journey which along the way will bring to you new color, new dimension, new values, and a new experience. Welcome to the Geese Spot Podcast. I'm your guide, Katie Silcox, bringing you your weekly self-love sound bites. Join us for conversations around sex, spirit, and all things self-care. All things self-care. All things self-care. This is a journey into You are a G-Swap podcast with Katie Silcox. Hey beauties, do you want to make some chai coffee cake? Maybe a cashew chai latte? Maybe you want to learn how you can put turmeric and black pepper and ghee on your popcorn? And if I didn't get you with all that, how about some vanilla ghee chocolate chip cookies made with pistachios and a Hara vanilla dream ghee? (laughs) Oh my gosh, I wish somebody would make me chocolate chip cookies. That's such a great feeling, right? To be in the other room and smell the smell of ghee and laced chocolate chip cookies. If you guys want all these amazing recipes, and there's so many more, I'm going to give you the link to ilovegee.com's recipe page, and you're going to have to use their ghee to make all this stuff, because their ghee is the best ghee in the world, and we love Ahara ghee, and it's made with beautiful organic A2 grade milk, which is really uncommon, and it's the most digestible form of milk. So, Check out Ahara Ghee. We love our sponsors. And now, on to our show. Today, we're going to be talking about vitamin BS. Is it what you think it is? Probably not. Vitamin Blue Sky. Yes. Vitamin Blue Sky. We are really suffering in our world, I think, from just a lack of contact with the natural environment. And... One of my commitments over the next nine months, I'm doing a program where we go outside for one month, uh, excuse me, one weekend every month, and we spend that entire time out in nature, bathing in the forest, under the starlight, under the moonlight, under the sunlight, under the canopy of the leaves. And vitamin BS is like, we all are lacking in just being in that natural flow of sunlight. Sunlight was really understood by these ancient people. And so um, morning meditations, saluting the sun, Agni Hotra, which is a fire ritual done at the exact moment of sunrise. And we'll talk more about Agni Hotra in, in later podcasts. And if you're in Ayurveda school, we discuss the Agni Hotra and I teach you guys how to do a very basic form of Vedic fire ritual. And, and so I won't go into all of that now, but the point of it is that these ancient people understood the incredible informational download, the incredible health benefits, the incredible mood altering benefits of being in sunlight in that vitamin BS, especially the morning light and especially the Uh, evening light so the sunset sunlight what does it mean sunlight is an informational download well let's go to science sunlight cues areas in the retina of your eye which triggers the release of serotonin that precursor to all of these feel-good chemicals which really um, affect our feeling of anxiety, depression, especially seasonal induced depression. The light induced effects of serotonin are triggered by sunlight that goes in through the eye. And, you know, that's why people get this type of depression in those winter days, which we're heading into. And so now, now you have this stuff called light therapy or phototherapy, where you can get a light therapy box for your home and that mimics the natural sunlight. And, and some say can help with that creation of serotonin. Um, and, and so that's a, that's a great thing to have, especially if you live in, 
an area that's really, really cold, or I know some of you are my European listeners that live in places where in the winter you guys may only get four or five hours of sunlight. And so that can be great, but really most of us all year long can get out into the sun. Um, studies show that getting anywhere from five to 15 minutes of sunlight directly on your skin, arms, hands, face, two to three times a week is going to be awesome for boosting those vitamin D levels. And so many of us have, uh, especially my generation, you know, we were taught that sunlight's bad for you and that you want to wear a lot of sunscreen. And we have a whole episode if you want to go back and check that out on why, yeah, we need to protect ourselves from the sun and what are some of the great natural ways that we can do that. There are lots of sunscreens that have natural SPF in them. Um, and now what studies are showing is that the sunscreen with all that chemicals can actually be causing the problem of sun cancer. The sun's rays are more than just about serotonin and our mood. Um, exposure to that, getting that vitamin D um, is really important and it helps us build strong bones. And so more or less, we need about 50,000 IUs for p- most people. Um, if you're, especially if you're Caucasian, you're going to need more. If you're of the tanned persuasion, you want maybe a little less, 20,000 to 30,000 IUs. And then if you have darker skin, Guys, you can get away with less of that sunlight. Very lucky. Um, Eight to 10,000 IUs is recommended usually for darker skinned humans. Um, People are now really investigating the role of vitamin D as as an important marker in all of these different metabolic processes in the body, and especially with our bones. I know I come from a lineage with osteoporosis, and that's something I really want to be aware of. Um, although sunlight can definitely contribute to skin cancer, what we're now seeing is that a moderate amount of sunlight actually has preventative benefits when it comes to cancer. And so um, research is now showing that people who live in places with uh, less daylight hours are actually more likely to have some kinds of cancers than people that uh, get a lot of sun. And so we definitely see that it has benefits for skin conditions like eczema, psoriasis, jaundice, acne. You know, when a baby has um, jaundice in the hospital, they'll put them under those light therapy machines and that helps with that. So definitely want to get out in the sun, but you do want to be moderate with it. So that vitamin BS right now, we're in September I call it the champagne of months. I love September and October in this part of the world because the sun is so much more mellow. You're less likely to get a sunburn. Um, But if you are in a place that, and you know, for us listening in the summer, you want to make sure you're getting that light probably before 11 a.m. and then definitely after 4 or 5 p.m. depending on where you are. Um, There are tons of good reasons, as we know, as we're learning to be out in the sun, but you do want to make sure you're not in the sun in that direct light during the most powerful time from 11 to 2 p.m. is going to be really intense. So um, make sure to get your 15 minutes of sunlight during that good window of the morning or the afternoon evening sunlight. Um, So you know, another way we can get that good old vitamin BS <laughs> isn't just the sunshine. It's being out in nature. There's a, there's a fun new term called forest bathing. And, um, that's another way of just saying being out deeply in nature. And I love it when scientists study just this good Ayurvedic advice because Ayurveda says one of the number one ways for building ojas, ojas is your immunity, your psychological, emotional health, one of the best ways is just to be in nature. Have you ever noticed, especially us that live in in more urban environments, you can just go out into the woods for a weekend, turn off your phone, and it's like, oh my goodness, like everything's kind of okay. What happened? Nothing in me changed. I just spent 48 hours in the woods. So among new findings of research, about being in contact with nature, about forest bathing, is that as little as 20 minutes in a park, it doesn't even mean that you have to go, you know, deep into the woods. Just 20 minutes in a park boosts feelings of well-being. Um, 
Walking 15 minutes in a bamboo forest has been shown in Japan to improve mood. Um, just, just walking for 15 minutes in a bamboo forest. Can you guys believe that? They also found that people's attention scores were better after being in the forest. Being in nature has been shown to lower cortisol levels, you guys, which is one of those main markers of stress. Um, just incredible studies from over 30 studies showed that just very few amount of minutes could start to reduce those cortisol levels. Being in nature has been shown to lower depression level in adults, according to a review of 28 different studies. Being in nature has been found to boost natural killer cells, the ones that help us fight off infections and cancer. Um, the stuff that's coming out of the trees, the plants, the leaves, all of that aromatic medicine has been shown in studies to lower inflammation and bring about brain protection benefits. Now, beyond all of these beautiful studies, what about just what you feel? What about what people say, right? What about um, your experience? And so uh, just being in nature really is beyond any scientific study that we could cite. Just being in nature, I think you guys all know, really makes you feel better. And so my my um, invitation to you is I have to do this. I put it on my calendar. I make time and I say, you know what? This weekend's about nature. It's about the forest and I'm going to go out into it. What are you going to do? Can you put it on your calendar? Even if it's just, you know, right tonight I'm going to sit outside in my backyard and and hopefully you've got some plants and trees in your backyard and I'm going to I'm going to build a little fire with a friend and talk. Or maybe you live in a big city and you can go to a park for 30 minutes every day and do your meditation or if you're like me, sometimes I like to go exercise and look like a crazy person in the park. What are you going to do? What can you do today to bring about more forest vitamin BS, that blue sky into your life? My loves, it's been so great hanging out with you today. And I hope you're inspired to get out and be in nature. As you know, Ayurveda School is in full swing taking registrations for 2020. Are you going to join us? I really hope you will. We've got women signing up from all over the world. That's my favorite part. Australia, England, Africa, India, South America, lots of gals from the U.S. We have so many women signing up for this course from different parts of the world, and I really, really love that. We're creating a really beautiful web of connectivity all over the planet as people are waking up and getting real about our deep, need to not only be connected, but to serve and support nature inside of ourselves and outside. I look forward to being with you guys next week. Much love. Put the pull